Hey everyone, welcome to a new Pirate 101 video. I know, crazy, right? Uh, didn't think I'd be back on this game anytime soon, but after this video, it might be the end of me posting Pirate for a while, because there's not much going on with this game, and I was looking at the producer's letter, because I just wanted to see if there were any hints, because for Wiz, we always get hints for Wiz. They're like, okay, everything old will become new again and all that. We get like little hints here and there. For Pirate, there really wasn't anything in that producer's letter that was worthwhile. And it didn't say, it was just kind of like, we can't confirm anything, but, you know, we're going to do some updates. It made it seem like they were going to do updates, but it didn't feel like it was really, like, a world update or anything like that. So, I'm hoping that 2018 for Pirate isn't just, like, a one update and then that's it. But, I want to talk about some Pirate updates because we did the whole Wizard update videos where I kind of put out my uh, ideas of what I want to see for the game. I can't really do that for Pirate because I have no idea if it's even going to be updated with another world or even like just a regular update, which we got last year and we only got one of those. But to start things off, uh, 2017, we got the one update, which was the diplomacy quest. So it's basically some side quests that you can do and you can get some rewards from it. I never really thought the rewards were that cool, basically. The coolest thing out of all of that was the wands, and I think I grabbed one of them. Um, there's like these sparkler wands. I have no idea if they're actually in my inventory. Did I end up buying any of them? I don't think I ended up buying any of them. But those are from the, the party barge, and you can get like the sparkler things, and you can also get... I don't, was, was there even anything else that was worthwhile going for? It was basically you just do like the repeatable quests, Every 24 hours, even though they're the same quest over and over again, so it kind of got boring after like two days. And that was basically it. All Pirate got in 2017 was really a side quest. And I guess in December they got the holiday update with the Gingerbread Men. So there you go. That was it. Kind of disappointing. But before that, the year before, in uh, the summer of 2016, we got the Valencia 2 update. And that was... You know, that was a big update. It was it was good. I was excited to get a new world for this game. But it felt like... I mean, it still wasn't that long of a world. And it felt like something that was just kind of thrown together pretty quickly. And then there you go. And there's still some glitches in there that they haven't patched. So it's like, are they really looking to continue to push this game forward? That's like the real question that I have. So I just wanted to talk about some things that I wanted to see from Pirate before... It ends you know before they completely say okay this game isn't really going forward anymore and we're just gonna kind of leave it up but not update it anymore which will be a sad day trust me I like pirate 101 I like this game and I always say that in these videos I have two max level pirates I've gotten them uh, both leveled in walkthroughs my wish doctor which is my favorite character I leveled this guy up in a solo walkthrough. I never even did a solo wizard walkthrough, but that's because Pirate's a shorter game. But I never did a solo wizard walkthrough, but I have a solo witch doctor walkthrough that you can still watch today if you want to. And I level all the way up, level 1 to 70 in that walkthrough. And it was fun. I enjoyed that. Uh, Blue and I did the swashbuckler and musketeer walkthrough. We leveled all the way up. Got done with that. And uh, with Valencia too when that came out. And there you go. So I have two full walkthroughs of this game. I like Pirate. But there's not much like bringing people back into the game anymore. And I'm debating if they're even going to want to put time into making a new world since it's been so long. And every world update is just like, I don't know, it feels like there's, there's a bigger space between those uh, updates. But what I want to see from Pirate before they call it quits, I just want to go to El Dorado. That's the main thing. Because you look at those puppet shows, and I don't know which one it was, but there's a puppet show, I'm not going to show it, where it literally shows El Dorado, and it shows the robots from which Kane was created from, with Gaspaccio and all that, and that, that like, to me, was, like, the coolest hint at something that Pirate could have in the future. I know that they kind of tried to, like, throw the storyline in the direction of, well, we shouldn't go to El Dorado because it's too risky or it's too, I don't know, because bad things have happened to people that have gone there before. That's basically how they kind of, you know, wrap the story around with Kane and all that. And they said, oh, it's not worth going. Guess what? If you have the entire game, like, <laughs> if you have the entire game based around this, my El Dorado map, 
where we're piecing together a map to this world that, I don't know, I would hope we would go to someday, and we don't go to it, that's, that's kind of sad. Like, that's really sad. Especially since we only have three pieces of this map, and I'm level 70. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm level 70. That's the max level in this game. I have three pieces of this map. I'm guessing there's, I don't know, one, two, three, maybe like three or four pieces left. We know that Kane has some of them, at least, I don't know, maybe the other half of the pieces. But why couldn't we have at least gotten the pieces from him after we defeated him? And then they could kind of decide, like, okay, is it worth? Like, then we could, for ourselves, be like, is it worth going to El Dorado? Even though Kane himself, I don't even know what happened to the pieces. Do we know what happened to them? I thought Kane had them. And then he's like, oh, I built this supercomputer that can calculate where it is without the map. He's like, the map is in my brain or something like that. Well, I want to know where the pieces actually went if he has them. Because if he did have them, our pirates should have taken them and been like, okay, you know, the whole point of this game was to put the map together. That's what our parents did. And, uh, you know, I want to go to the same place that our parents went to. It's just something that I see that the game has set up for the longest time. And it makes me, I don't know, think about that and want to actually go there someday. So that's the one thing that I want to see from Pirate in the future if they ever update it, you know, if they ever want to add a new world, I say just just tie it together with Eldorado. You know, let us go here. Let's get the rest of the pieces from Kane or wherever. And then uh, just make the world Eldorado. Make it difficult, sure. Make it level like 80 or something. Max level could be 80. Could be a 10 level increase. And uh, just wrap up the game by us going to Eldorado and... I mean, Kane will be kind of out of the picture, right? But there's still the monsters there. Like, that's going to be the new enemy is going to be the monsters in El Dorado because they're like those gigantic golden robots. Like, that's awesome to me, thinking about that. I don't know if they want to put that much time to it, but I think if they're going to, you might as well just, just wrap it up with that. Because, and we also have the rest of the windstones. People always thought that Polaris was going to be a new world, but I don't think we need a Polaris in this game. I really don't think we do. There's also like a Dragon Spire Skyway, but I don't I don't think Pirate needs like a world that's in Wiz. I really don't think we do. I think what Pirate needs is just the wrap up of the storyline that we started from the beginning. And if they want to draw it out to two worlds where it's like a world before and then El Dorado, they could. But I don't know if they have that kind of time or, you know, the resources to be able to put into that. So that's all I want from Pirate. I just want a wrap up with the world that we've been working so hard to get to with this map and basically the entirety of the storyline was based upon that since the beginning. That's the one thing that I want. Like that's the cliffhanger that I want to be resolved. And I don't think the Kane storyline with Valencia 2 was enough for that. I don't know. To me, that's not a satisfying ending to this. And I hope that they can work on something to get at least that because if they end here with Valencia 2 being the last role of pirate, and then they kind of you know don't really do any major updates after that, I feel like that's, I don't know, to all the fans that have played for a long time, I feel like that's that's pretty disappointing. So, if anything, if they have anyone that's going to be working on this game this year, that's the one thing that I'm hoping for. And we'll see what happens, but for me, that's just what I want um, for the game. So, otherwise, I don't think you're going to see too many videos of Pirate from me, because there's no reason for me to do another Pirate walkthrough. Because I know people suggest this all the time. They're like, oh, hey, why don't you start up a new pirate walkthrough or something like that. I don't see it being worth for me to do a pirate walkthrough when the game hasn't had a new world update for a while. And we had Valencia 2, yes, but that was still a while ago. I mean, Valencia 2 this summer will have been out for two years. So that's, that's a little bit. So I don't think I'm going to do a new walkthrough until I see that the game is... Either going to wrap it up with the final world or something like that because I don't want to do a walkthrough on a game that you know is, is not really going to be continued to you know have updates. So that's basically my thoughts on that. Uh, do I want to do a walkthrough at some point? Yes, but I want to see a new world come out and then I'll level up my main characters first and then I could decide to do that. But I don't know. For right now, just kind of waiting, hoping that there's something. Uh, that comes out and along the lines of what I've mentioned this because I think that's the the real route that they need to go in order to uh, continue this game because I don't 
to me, it just, from like the updates that I'm seeing and like the previous letter and everything, it doesn't seem like this game is their, oh, I know that this game is not their focus. Wizards the focus, and I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm glad that Wizards is the focus, but, and it, we also know that the writer from, uh, from Pirate moved over to the uh, Wizard team in order to write for the, uh, the Imperial storyline, so we know that. They're taking people from Pirate, moving them to Wizard, and all I'm saying is if they do want to continue updating Pirate, I hope they go that direction, or at least think about a storyline that they could do with El Dorado and all that, because that's what people wanted, and... I hope someday that we get that. Even if it takes like another year or something. Uh, <laughs> I hope it doesn't. But even if it does, that's kind of the route that I wanted to take. So, hope you guys enjoyed uh, my little rant about Pirate. I don't know. Pirate's always something I think about. I don't normally do like too many videos on it just because I've completed the game multiple times. And the only thing I can think of to really make videos on is what I want to see from the game in the future. So, hopefully someone out there is listening. And, uh... I'm sure people would agree with this um, for people that have played Pirate and have enjoyed it. So that is it for me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Leave a like if you guys have enjoyed this video. And I will see you all next time.